to go a step backwards to the to the proposal phase, there are uh, still uh, some some questions about, for instance, what what does make a good proposal? So once you made that personal contact and you charmed this, your your future supervisor, what what makes a good proposal? Also, I can see some are uh, in asking about the size. How can you make a a good research proposal in four pages? It is it is asked whether four pages is normal. I don't know, uh, but but what makes a good proposal? Um, so actually, in the beginning of my PhD, there were uh, quite a few there are quite a few uh, re funding bodies that you can apply to in the first year of your PhD and that is something that my supervisor encouraged. Uh, it wasn't an absolute must do, it was if you would like to. So I went ahead and did that and I noticed that depending on who you're applying to, they will have a specific criteria you should uh, be looking at exactly what they require. It can be four pages, it can be two, sometimes it can be ten. Um, but I think the main thing that I learned was uh, make sure it is as clear as possible. If you're looking into applying for a research proposal uh, or writing a research proposal, then really make sure that you have stated how you came to this idea, what you want to do, a research plan year to year. Um, you don't really need to state things like uh, how much things will cost in your PhD, that's more for postdoc, more advanced level, but really the main thing is that your idea comes across as clearly as possible. Another great thing to do is mention why you're doing this research, how will the society benefit from it. Um, and why is it important to do it in the first place? Um, there's no need, I, I did a workshop as well, and some of the things I applied from this workshop my supervisor didn't really like, because in the workshop I learned that language, uh, how you persuade the audience is really important, and I um, used such big fancy words that essentially the meaning of science was kind of diffused in between that, which is not good to do. Uh, as long as it's, as I said, as long as the idea is as clear as possible and the person who's reading it knows why you're doing it and why it's important, that's, I would say, the best research proposal. Yeah, so clarity. Do, do you agree to that? Yeah. Martin and, and Barbara. Barbara, can you comment? Uh, you're, you're muted again. Yes, so... Uh, so yeah, I mean, on on that level, I I would re um, yes, I would I would agree. I mean, my my tip regarding that is always like just imagine you're a few a few years down the road, you're a supervisor now, and uh, and you have someone who wants to work with with you. What would you really expect from this proposal? What would you expect uh, a, a doctoral candidate, you know, to to deliver to you? And then that's what you say, um, Samira. I, I have little time, so I want to be able to read it in a short time. I want to grab the ideas. I don't want someone who fakes ideas or who, you know, who tries to pretend to make it more exciting or nothing. I really want to see that you know what you're talking about, that you have an idea or a starting idea. Yeah, uh, it doesn't need to be the full the full project, and uh, and what your reason is, your almost reason to to be wanting to 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 do this line of uh, of research. Uh, yes, and there is. I think that that's that's in a nutshell how uh, how to how a proposal will will work. Yeah, best. Martin, do you have? Um, there's only one thing I would like to add. Um, if you're applying for a PhD, uh, uh, to avoid a misunderstanding here, you would usually not need to submit a research proposal. That is only if you need funding. And in most cases in Germany, there's still enough money that you do not need extra funding. Uh, but only if you need extra funding from a funding organization, then you certainly need a um, research proposal. Some, however, some graded programs would like you to write a research proposal. Uh, maybe one or two pages only. Uh, for them, it's to get an impression that you are already some sort of scientist, that you can think in a scientific way um, and um, yeah, uh, convince um, the people who would then hire you. Um, whether this research proposal then leads to a project that you can finally follow in a laboratory there, that's a totally different story. Um, that is down to what the, uh, the laboratory can actually then offer. 
but I suppose that again is different from the the STEM, so the hard sciences and and the humanities and, yeah. and and social science, where you would need to come and uh, mm -hmm. show that you can do cutting edge research by yourself. Um, but I, again, it's a very decentral and individualized system, and and I think what we all agreed was that it's it's good to know your research group 